moving on. Hey guys, Marley here, and we are going the way of 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 Travis Grady. Oh Grady. Oh god. We're gonna be doing uh, Silent Hill Origins or Origins. I actually was trying to be funny and say oranges, and I, I failed in such a way that it sounded like I didn't mean to. That's good. That's good. Trolling myself. We're going to be doing uh, a little follow-up. Uh, years ago, years ago now, uh, Karen and I did a video about uh, health drinks here in Japan. Um, reminiscent, uh, reminiscent of the health drinks that you find in Silent Hill. And we had kind of... I feel like at some point we probably pitched the idea of doing an energy drink one for good old Travis, but we, we never we never really did. We're gonna do that today. Uh, I've been- I collected a couple of these a while back, actually. I was gonna say recently. Not recently. Um, I collected some of these not so recently, so they've gone the way of the dinosaur, because, like, you know, se they love seasonal things here. They love, you know, limited time only runs. They're, they're big on that. And essentially, I'm going to rank them from 1 to 10. 1 being the worst medicinal grossness you've ever you've ever had like bad fake medicinal like ugh. and 10 being like this is so delicious i wish to bathe in it let's start with this one okay so this is this is a real gold dragon boost now real gold is an energy drink that is around all the time here in japan it's it's all right I, i've had it before um but this this was a limited run style uh thing of a bobber dragon boost energy drink six something i forget that kanji no i'm not i'm not gonna i ain't got kara here to do it faster for me so here we go we'll, we'll find out if this this lippy stays that's for sure um let's go let's let's do it let's um dragon boost reminds me I just had a I just had like a flashback to being in college and um drinking rock stars to write like multiple long ass multi-page essay exams through the night because I would always not be ready yet and get away until the last minute because I was bum like that because I was okay I wasn't a bum I just that was kind of a bum <laughs> at times anyway um, for me personally, the flavor is only like a five max, but as far as drinkability, like would I drink this again, it's more like a, a six to seven for me. Like it's all right. I'd drink it again. Um, it's similar. I would argue that it's, it's similar to real gold, but it's definitely not quite the same. Um, I actually kind of prefer this over regular real gold. Too bad this was limited. Hmm. All right, next we're gonna have something. I've had this one before. This one I have had before. Um, I bought it randomly one time. I think when was it? I'm trying to think. Was it an Odaiba time or was it like when Karen and I went to Borderless last year for her? You know, last J J Japan, Light in Japan, hurrah, or what was it? I can't remember. Anyway, it's called Sting. Sting Energy. And I I get the impression, based on something that I saw of it, that it's not unique to Japan, but might might be unique to Asia. I don't I don't know actually for sure. I didn't I didn't do my, my homework on that. But um I've I've had it before. It was Fine, I think. I just noticed that this is technically expired. Sting energy. It was still fizzy when I popped it, so should be fine. Oh yeah, I remember that. This is one of those that tries to kind of taste like candy flavor, depending on your feeling about that whole candy-licious uh, attempt. Um. It doesn't taste, I, I don't want to say it tastes sweet, it just tastes candy-ish, you know, like hard candy, like fruity hard candy. Not quite Jolly Ranchers. Not quite Jolly Ranchers. Um, 
depending on your feeling of that flavor. Like for me, a flavor's like fine. It's like a six-ish. But as far as like, do I really want to drink this again? I think I'd rather have the Dragon Boost. I don't know. And then again, I don't have much of a sweet tooth. So anything reminiscent of like candy is not necessarily going to be as high on my list. Next up, we're going to do, oh, I left the tag on there. So this definitely went the way of the dinosaur. They even had to, they like clearanced it out. I forgot to take off the little stickers. Oh God. Little dude. There's a cute little dude on there. Um, this was a collaboration with a very popular mobile game here called Monster Strike. Waku Waku no Mixu. Waku Waku no something mix. This is good until this month, so it's not expired yet. Oh, that, that oh, took a whiff. That doesn't smell good. But I definitely have tried this one before, randomly. And I, I didn't love it, but I thought it was fine. But man, it doesn't. Oh, that smells really bad. It smells actively really bad. I'm amazed. It smells like, it smells like really sour, awful sweat. Is this the same one that I tried? Cause I remember thinking that one was like, eh, whatever, it's fine. This does not. No, 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 no. I'm gonna take another drink. No, it doesn't get better. Oh. Yeah, no, that's like... Like, the flavor itself could be worse. So I'll give it a two. But it's a one from me. It's just a one overall. I would never touch this again. Oh, God. Next up. Um, okay, this is gonna be a quartet. All in the same family. They stopped making these. They're still making- they, they made these and then they made some tall ones that weren't actually like caffeinated energy drinks. They were just like, oh, natural energy, what's it? Um, those are alright. The, the, the ginger one, um, was- is it the ginger one I liked best? I can't remember. Um, anyway. They, they have some other ones, but they're not actually like- they're not actually energy drinks. So this family, we've got- this, uh, this, these are Ryzen. Um, I should, I should link to the first Tokyo uh, Comic Con. We absolutely drank like early, like alpha, like uh, first release Ryzen grape flavor or something when a Ryzen one was kind of getting its um, footing over here in Japan. So we got Ryzen zero, zero, Ryzen Rosso, seasonal flavor. It even says seasonal flavor on there. Zero and zero Rosso. Dry, and another one called se that says seasonal, seasonal flavor, mojito. We're gonna save that one for last. So let's let's start. Let's go the seasonal flavors towards the back. We'll start with Ryzen Zero. It tastes like bad ginger ale, and I don't mean like Canada Dry Cell. I mean like real serious ginger root kind of more like au naturel ginger ale that you may have tried at some point in your life. Yeah, it's like a flatter version of that. It's all right, but I, I wouldn't jump up and down to try it again. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. It's only fizzy for like a second and then it flattens in your mouth. It's weird. I'm gonna call that like a six-ish on the flavor. Um, should I drink it again? Eh, like a four or five, I'm like not. I like that kind of, I love ginger ale, don't get me wrong, I all, love all kinds of ginger ale, but I don't want to drink that. Ryzen Dry. Ryzen Dura. Very similar, but a bit fizzier, and a little, little less flat. Like, <laughs> very similar, actually. I like it better though. It's like super fizzy the moment it enters your mouth and then it goes as as it goes down. It's weird. I'm gonna place that similarly on the scale as a zero. That's like, it's not great. And actually drinking them in succession makes me want to give them lower scores. Like instead of like fives, more like a three, four. It's not good. We dare to try Rosso, which based on 
icons here. I'm gonna assume it has like grape flavor added. Oh, the okay. So like the the zero, like it just goes down. The dry, like it kind of stays in your throat a bit. It's not great. That tastes like slightly fizzy grape juice. Definitely the best of the bunch so far, and I'm actually not so into grape flavor. I was, I loved it. A lot. I liked it a lot as a kid, but my palate kind of, my palate changed a lot. That one, I feel like it tastes way better. So like the flavor is definitely, the flavor I would argue you could give like up to a seven. Drinkability, like. It's only gonna be like a five. Like, I feel like if I kept drinking this, I might get a stomach ache. And it's hard to tell if it's just, if it's the grape thing, because like, yeah, fake grape flavor tends to give me a stomach ache. Is it that, or is it the ones I drank before? Because that dries and dries, still it in here. Mmm. Time for the one that I was actually excited to try. Um, Raisin Mojito. It, and it also notes that it's alcohol-free. It's just mojito flavor, not actually a mojito. Excuse me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is a flavor. I really like it. It's weird. It's like, it's probably not more, it's like a 7-8 for me. Drinkability. I'd totally drink it again. I'm not like jumping head over heels for it, so I'm only gonna give it like a six. 6.5. You know, I'm not gonna like jump up and down like, oh my gosh, I so wish they still had these in stock. No, I don't care, it's fine. But this is one of those weird flavors that I'm super into that I don't think most other people would uh, be down. They'd probably prefer like the Rosso or something. It has a mojito ish flavor ish. It's in that family of flavors. Um, not exactly like a mojito, but it's all right. I was gonna say it's the most drinkable one so far, but no, I think I'd still go for the Dragon Boost over this. Okay, next up, um, I have a energy drink that more recently came on the scene. Um, it's called Zone. It's called Zone, and it has like this big icon. They come in huge cans, and it has this icon on the side that looks like uh, like a power, the little, little C with a line, and it looks like a shut on, shut off icon. Um, and it even says like version 1.0.0 around the rim. Um, there's now three different kinds. A third one just came on the scene. So Core, core Zone comes in a black can um, and it tastes like pretty much any old generic medicinal what have you. So I didn't bother to- I, I've tried it. I've tried all three flavors. Um, I, I was like, no, I'm not even gonna bother with this. Uh, then the new flavor, the new flavor is called, it comes in a blue can, it's called Deep Dive. And... Uh, oh god. And essentially, if you've ever had Calpis or any other kind of like milk soda-ish kind of flavored thing, it's like that, but meant to be an energy drink, but it's not fizzy. I didn't check the ingredients that closely, but I did- I, I was like, oh, that's interesting. It's like milky, yogurty, like, uh, not- definitely not my thing. Miss, like, no dairy, no, 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 no bad. The only one that ha- that I have liked at all- I should hold it up while I'm like talking about it- is this one. This one's called Firewall. Um, it's still not amazing. Um, but like, look at this can. Just look at it. It has a black top. It's got the it's got the shut on, shut off version 1.0, digital performance energy. Like it's so ridiculous. Like this is just too much. It makes me laugh. Now the very first time I ever had this, I had a moment where I was transported back in time to days of sitting around with my great grandma watching Lawrence Welk and Unsolved Mysteries drinking Big Red Soda. I can't say that that sticks with you. Like that initial kick makes, if you've ha ever had Big Red or you have memories of that, you're gonna go, whoa. But it doesn't really stick around. Any other sip after that, it's not nearly as strong. I might finish Dragon Boost, but this is really the only one of these I'm actually gonna finish. Um, I was hoping, I was, I was hoping not to be wasteful, but. Ugh. 
Yep. There it is. Bit of, bit of big Greg. This is kind of similar to Ryzen in the way that it doesn't have a super strong fist to it. But I, I'm okay with it out of this one. This one, it stays fizzy. Like, it's not super carbonated, but it stays fizzy, which, and, and but it doesn't hurt you <laughs> on the way down. Um, this is solid. I would give this, you know, a seven-ish, seven to, seven to eight even. I'm willing to give it an eight. Um, but then again, this is coming from someone who, like, the, 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 the monsters that I actually do drink, the sugar-free ones, like, that would be 10 on my scale, but do I actually think the flavor is a 10? No, it's like an 8. It's the, out of, out of, out of this bunch, this thing's awesome. Gonna be honest, I don't drink energy drinks for energy. Um, I do it just as, like, sometimes I do it, I do it either for the flavor or the ritual of it. Not actually because it gives me any kind of boost. It doesn't. Especially caffeine. Caffeine doesn't affect me at all. I can sit and I have on... I have on multiple occasions just... I've fallen asleep drinking energy drinks. Uh, I have fallen asleep drinking black coffee. Um, it's it's fine. It don't do nothing for me. Moving on. Uh, okay, so I just saw this on my way home um, the other night. Uh, this is from the, from the line of... Gobunomi uh, drinks, which usually have like a float essence to them, like it's, it, the flavors, it's like that, but like a float, you know, like the ice cream float kind of thing with the flavor. Um, but this one says, Ex Freedom Energy on it. I'm ready. I'm ready for this. confused. This thing has like no flavor in it. It's trying to have an aftertaste. It has no flavor. I'm serious guys, this is really weird. It's trying to have a flavor but I cannot place it and it's just not there. It's not good. This is kind of an opposite of the monster stripe. Flavor is a one because it like doesn't exist. The drinkability is a two though. I definitely drink this before I drink that monster strike thing again. Oh, this is awful. Where is the flavor? It's like it starts to hit your tongue and you're like, there it. Uh, what? Wh where? Where is it? Where is the gosh darn flavor? You keep if waiting for it to hit and it doesn't hit. Okay, I just got home from work and I'm, I'm trying to do this like. Using this good little camera like a healthy thing and I don't know how well it's gonna work but um I also the mic is gonna just be the, the crappy camera mic because I, I don't want to I, 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 I wanted this to be part of the energy drink commercial um ah what are you doing they put it like right up your face yeah, it's so wonderful and cool and delicious I wanted this to be part of the energy drink video but they disappeared from stores before I could buy one and then randomly today, the Family Mart got them back in out of nowhere, like after them not having it for like two months or something. So, yay! We're gonna try this, and this will just be a random insert shot with probably kind of crappy audio. But for those not in the know, a bus is normally known for coffee. It's one of the um, primary, one of the big names in uh, iced coffee. Um, and, well, canned coffee, not necessarily iced, it's also hot. Um, canned coffee, bottled coffee, um, there's like Georgia, which is of course, so, so it's been canonized, preferred. Um, there's Georgia, there's Boss, there's Kirin, um, there's Polka. Uh, anyway, they're normally known for coffee, and now we're gonna have an energy drink. Wow, my camera looks really awesome. Uh, I'm just kidding, just kidding. Oh, oh no, put this in the, put this in like the diamond top. Oh, no. No, the aftertaste for it. I can't believe I'm like really bothering to do this <laughs> shot. Oh, dude, I'm doing it for you guys. Oh, yeah, why do I. Ooh. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, I'm, I'm blanking on which one I referred to as like kind of fake medicine or whatever, like kids' medicine. This is, this is like that. Oh, it's got really nasty, stingy, 
so I have not quite metallic aftertaste to it. It's like, ooh, it's not good. It's not good. That is, that is on. That's not the worst that I tried, but it's not good. All right, I guess I'm supposed to give some kind of like big reveal. So best one of the bunch. Let's say Dragon Boost, but that's me. Somebody with a different palette might choose a Firewall instead. This tastes more energy drinky, like more like, you know, that flavor. This tastes a little more like soda. I almost want to give third place to this because all these other ones are just like not great. At least this doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> Even though that's not necessarily a good thing, but I, I will. <sighs> I guess I'll give third place to Mojito. This has more punch to it than the Sting had. I like it a little bit better. Those are my top three. You're not gonna be able to actually see the cans all together, but there you go. Hang on. <laughs> Excuse me. So that was a little um, fun. Hopefully a little... I'm still burpy. Oh god. Alright, I hope this was fun. I hope this was a fun little silly thing for you guys. And I think my lipstick stayed on for the most part. Like, it got came off on the cans, but it also seems to be staying, stained here. So, you know, it's a keeper. I will see you guys next time. I will see you all around. I will certainly, I'll link to the old health drink video in the description. It's very old. I recorded it on like my tablet back then or something. Um, and thank you for sticking with me through this, this weirdness. I have this new little gadget that is going to let me do slightly better video. Not, not like amazingly better, but slightly better. Um, but I'm still currently going to be relying on natural light and my natural light decided to like suddenly go away. So my side light is going like, Anyway, enough of that. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all around. And take care of yourselves. Be safe. Do do the good do the good stuff for yourself, whatever that is. And um, bye.